Well, engineering does go hand in hand with healthcare in many, many ways. I mean, if you're creating a medical device like a pacemaker or a stent, if you're delivering a cancer drug just to the cancer cell and no other place in the body, that's engineering. Engineers can create things that have and will change the world. Certainly when you think about it, I mean, human health is just clearly one of the huge challenges of the future. Thinking about how we can engineer better medicines, better medical devices, you know, someday even tissues and organs. Those are things that could just save lives both in this country and across the whole world. I think that when we go to the future, one of the things that's going to be increasingly important is personalized medicine. Now a lot of drugs and devices is kind of a one size fits all. Everybody takes the same medicines and takes the same devices. But when you really look at somebody's genome or somebody's genetics, that's not necessarily the right thing to do. So this is an early version of our facial expression reading technology. And here you see a bunch of points on my face that are found using computer vision software. And we use that information to try to interpret what's going on with the person emotionally. As we learn more about how emotions work, we learn, for example, that they are influencing every organ in the body, and, and that includes your brain. The emotions can go out of whack and exacerbate health conditions. So as we build technology that helps us to measure and communicate and understand emotions better, we are also getting insights into what signals in our body are changing that are affecting our health. I think we take clean water for granted in the U.S., but if you think about it globally, one of the major causes of death with, with young infants and with populations in, in developing countries is lack of access to clean water. So if you think of a village in Africa where women have to walk miles to just get water to, to cook, if they had access in that village to enough water, these women and children would have the ability to lead a much better life. My work when I first started looking at water quality issues focused mostly on evaluating a more sustainable way of treating groundwater. Rather than pumping it up to the surface to clean it up, we focused on using indigenous bacteria that are present in the soil and encourage them to break down the dangerous chemicals. And this is what we call bioremediation. I think engineering works when innovation is at play. For anyone that has a sense of curiosity, that is interested in seeing how the puzzle pieces fit together, that is interested in science and math, engineering is a wonderful field to go into because this is where you can really impact change.